Hello there guys, how you all doing? I hope you're well. Today I have got something a bit different. It's sort of a Comic Con special sort of not because there's not, not nothing like massive to unpack. There's no like real mystery boxes, mystery bags, which I did in my last one. This is more of a review, sort of discussion type video for a Comic Con that I attended yesterday. As in the 28th of September, because I'm recording this on the 29th of September, on Sunday, the Coastal Comic Con at the Royal Bath Hotel in Bournemouth. Now then, I will clip in a video, any moment, sort of just to show you sort of one of the, the main hall there, which is where a lot of the stalls were. It's really cool, really, really old hotel, really nice, really, you know, quite swanky. It's nice to be able to walk around there, and there's lots, lots of stalls, and there was other like rooms that were off shooting. Um, but I'll, sh I'll clip in like a video of what. <laughs> And then once you've seen that, I'll then go on to the rest of my review. So, yeah, so it was it was good. You know, it was the first one they've ever hosted there. And obviously, if you know Bournemouth, they do host a and we can all an international comic con at the Bournemouth International Center, which I did attend last year. Which also did a special for, which was more of an unpacking sort of. This is what I did. This is what I thought of the day sort of here. So. Um, as for like purchases, I didn't really get a lot. It wasn't a lot there because you know I think because it's the, it was the first year. This is the first one they ever done. Um, I did manage to find this in a in a a, co a copy of Mario Kart 64, which you know I, I have owned before, but then got rid of. But I got this for 25 quid, which isn't actually that bad because it's quite hard to get hold of these days. Obviously, where it is a what, I think it was what, a 22 year old game now, so. Mm, yeah, so I'm pleased with that. And I've got this Toy Story sales, which is pretty cool. I mean, if you can see it, if I hold it up, you can see like Buzz this side, and there's like the other toys outside. But yeah, I'm, you know me, I'm a massive Toy Story fan, absolutely love Toy Story. Um, and this is quite a cool store that sells these. Um, but yeah, so what did I think of the day? I thought it was great, there was a lot going on, a lot of cool costumes. Um, I thought it could have been laid out a bit better though, but you know, it's just one of the things when you're trying to lay something out in a somewhere like a hotel, it's hard to get it right, I think, because you know, there's like not, not like, um, if it's in like uh, the international center in Bournemouth, it, it's in a massive hall, so there's a lot there. Um, and I mean, when we went to um, Portsmouth Comic Con, you had the main hall, and then you had all the offshoots, and there was a lot, there was a lot there packed into the Guild Hall, and the Guild Hall wasn't massive. Shall we say? Sorry, playing with my hair on camera. Um, but you know, I'll splice in some photos and such, and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. You know, because there was a lot there. Everyone took photos. There was some like cool. There were really cool props. Like, uh, uh, Daleks, pretty cool. You know, I like Doctor Who. <sighs> you know, whatever your opinion is on Doctor Who, Daleks, well, Doctor Who right now, anyway. Daleks will always be cool. Same with Cybermen, you know, all the sort of classic villains, etc. Um, I'm just waffling now because I'm trying to think of things to say about this Comic Con. Um, not really many major famous people there, but I don't really go to these things to meet famous people because, quite frankly, I say famous, you know, they're not massive actors, but they're, they're, you know, they're, they're noticeable, I guess. They, they charge quite a lot, so you know it's not really worth the money unless you are a massive fan of whoever is at this Comic Con. Um, um, but yeah, so it, it's like, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I don't know what to say really. It was, it was a good Comic Con. I mean, I bet if they do another one next year, because I imagine this one was quite successful for for the the town or city of Bournemouth and you know there's a lot of people there quite a few people there this is the first one I imagine if it's successful they'll do it again next year and you know it might be bigger next year and hopefully it is because I'll probably will go again because I did like it um 
and like, I mean, I enjoy cons, you know, it's the sort of thing, obviously a nerd like myself, you know, self-proclaimed nerd would want to attend. So the more I attend, the better, because quite frankly, it's just a nice experience. It's nice to be with people that are like minded, that geek out about certain things, you know, depending on what you're wearing. Just say, for example, someone's going to go to me, nice t-shirt, because I'm wearing this t-shirt. I was wearing a Dragon Ball Z t-shirt yesterday. There's a few people complimenting my t-shirt randomly. So yeah, you, you look cool too. So it's like, you know, it's like for like-minded people. You know, there's no political rubbish and there's no arguing about Brexit. It's just nerds nerding out, you know? So, you know, I, I wish the world was more like that. I don't really like all this political rubbish at the moment. That's just my 50 pence, but you know, whatever side you're on, you know, just uh, let's not worry about it. We're about the nerd life here, not about politics, which, you know, is in a whole other world um but yeah hopefully they do this again and it'll be cool and make it a bit bigger maybe lay it out a bit better because i thought the layout was a bit more strange but that's just me so yeah so what would i give it out of 10 probably a six yeah strong six like i say though it's first first year so you never know it, it could it could get better um but yeah, so as for me, I'll be going to another con next weekend uh, in Totten, which is uh, one that uh, I know a few people have been to that I, um, I know of, like my other half and her father. So I'll be looking forward to that one. Uh, I'll post a review of that one probably next week uh, when I get the time to record it. Obviously today Sunday, I'm normally at work today, but I've had a week off, a week off this week, so... This is why I've been able to bring you a video on a Sunday at a reasonable time. Um, but uh, I'm, I'll, what I'll do is I'll um, I'll uh, get some recording, get some photos taken, do what I can, write that one, and then we'll unpack my thoughts, etc. Probably next Monday when I get the time to record a video. Yeah. Um, you know, I want to try and do more like sort of review type videos because I feel like I need to branch out more. More content is always good content. Um, I tell you, I don't even script these. You know, this is just me thinking off the top of my head. You know, so you know, let me know if you like it. If you went to the Coastal Comic Con, the Bournemouth Coastal Comic Con, let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know how what you did, what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy. You know, give me all that because I want to know. I want to hear it. And, you know, the, the more you support these sort of things, the more we're going to get them over here. Because obviously it's an American thing. And, I mean, my dream is to eventually go to either New York Comic Con or um, San Diego. That's my like, big aim, eventually, is to go go over to America and see one of the, go to one of these gigantic cons that I know are great. Or E3, oh, that'd be cool as well. But yeah, so... Um, and then obviously I'll do some sort of vlog style sort of thing for them, maybe. We'll see, you know, one day eventually. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, but yeah, so yeah, like I say, just leave down in the comments what you thought of the Comic Con, if you attended. Would you have liked to have gone if you didn't go? Uh, if you did go, what did you think? Um, what would you like to see next time, maybe? And just your general thoughts, really. So, yeah. So, thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for sticking with me for God knows how long now. Some of you have been here since day one when I officially started up this channel. And I really appreciate it in the bottom of my heart. And I'll see you all next time.